Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I will discuss how to copy specific data from one table to another. First I'm going to go over how to copy specific data to a newly created table that is created on the fly. And then secondly I'm going to go over how to copy specific data to an existing table that already exists. So take a look at the table below. This table is the employees table and as you can see it contains five records. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy all of these records and we're going to pretty much paste them into a new table that we're going to create on the fly. So here's our script. What we're going to do is we're going to select all the records. So we use the select keyword and the asterisk, meaning all. Select all the records from, this is the from keyword, from the employees table below. And then we use the N2 keyword meaning that we're going to copy those records into a new table called new employees. So select all the records from the employees table and copy them into a new table called new employees. So we click execute and so the command was completed successfully. So what we're going to do now is open the new table and also open the old table that we copied from, the employees table, and take a look. So select all of the records from the new employees table. We're going to select that and click execute. And you can see all of those records are in there. And this was the original table, the employees table. And you can actually run them at the same time and you can see that the exact same records in both tables. So we have the new employees table and then we have the employees table. Okay for our next query we're going to copy only selected data from this employees table. We're going to copy employee ID number three, number four, and number five and then we're going to copy that data into a newly created table again that we create on the fly. So here's our script. We're going to use select star or asterisk. Select all the records from the employees table but we're going to have a where constraint where the employee ID is equal to 3, 4, or 5. And then copy it into a newly created table. This time we're going to call new employees 2. Now on the screen here you can see that I have more code here. I'm just showing there's several ways you can write this query. So here I have two different ways you can write it and the only thing that's different is the WHERE clause. So here we used WHERE employee ID then you use the N keyword and you put your values within parentheses. So WHERE employee ID is in 3, 4, or 5 within the parentheses. And then below here the where says where employee ID is equal to 3 or use the or keyword or employee ID is equal to 4 or employee ID is equal to 5. So the method above is really a shortcut method because you don't have to keep specifying employee ID three times whereas you put it once here then use the the in keyword. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this one because we're going to use the above method and then bring this back up. And what we're going to do now is we're going to hit execute so that we can select all the records from the employees table where the employee ID is equal to 3, 4, or 5. Here are your employees I employee IDs. And copy those records into a newly created table on the fly called new employees 2. So we click execute and as you can see the command was completed successfully. So now we're going to take a look at this new table as well as the original employees table. So we have select all the records from the new employees 2 table and select all the records from the employees table and that's going to allow us to look at both tables by running these two select statements at the same time. I click execute and as you can see the select star from employees is at the bottom so it opens all of the employees table. You see all the records 
But for our new table, new employees to table, there are only three records in that table because our where clause said we only wanted employee IDs that were either three, four, or five. For our next query, we're going to copy specific data to an existing table that already exists. So let's take a look at our tables. We're going to open the customer table and then we're going to open a table called new customer that already exists. So we have two tables and I'm going to execute two select statements. Open the customer table and the new customer table. So I click execute and as you can see here the top table is the customer table and it's filled with records. There's 10 records and then we have another table below. This is the new customer table. That's the name of it. And there are no records in the new customer table. So what we're going to do is we're going to run a query where we're only going to copy specific records out of the customer table above and when they're going to copy them into the table below which currently has no records called the new customer table. Let's take a look at our script. Okay so what we're going to do is we're going to copy data from the customer table into the new customer table. And we're going to specify that we only copy customer IDs 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we begin with an insert in two statement. So you use the insert in two keywords. Then you put the name of the table that the records are going to be going to. And so the records are going to be going to the new customer table. And then you have to specify the columns that you would like the data to go into. And then we're going to use the select keyword to do a select statement. So this select statement is select the customer ID, first name, last name, home phone, address, state, and city, and postal code columns from the customer table. So you're selecting all the records from these columns from the customer table where the customer ID is either a 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. So what's going to happen is we're going to get customer ID 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 from the customer table only and send those complete records into the new customer table and it's actually called new customer so we have an insert into statement and then below we have a select statement that contains a where clause so we're going to click execute and as you can see that the command was completed successfully and so what we're going to do now is take a look at each of the tables and make sure that the records that are supposed to be in those tables are there. So the first statement says select asterisk from customer. So that's going to open the customer table. Then select asterisk meaning all from the new customer and that's going to open the new customer table. We'll be able to see what records are in that table. So I'm going to select both of the select statements. Click execute. And then as you can see below the customer table shows all of the records that were there and then the new customer table only shows customer ID 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And we did that by using a WHERE clause that allowed us to set up a constraint to only copy these specific records as opposed to everything that's stored in the customer table. So today you learned how to copy specific data to a newly created table and how to copy specific data into a table that exists already. Today I hope you enjoyed learning about the different methods for copying data from tables today and if you'd like more in-depth learning please check out my SQL course in the description section which is below. And I'd love it if you'd please like and subscribe. Have a great day.